Seeing a car waiting for a pizza to cook, this is Tell It Someone. First question is from Joe Freddy. Why did it go so wrong? Well, uh, well apparently um, it's because a lot of rich people um, wanted it to go wrong because they will make even more money that way. So... Um, what happens is they organise it for it to go wrong and uh, get the profit and uh, let everything collapse in the meantime. Next question is uh, from Robert Bow. Why do wombats look so different from male bats? Well, of course, wombats look so different from uh, male bats because if you hit with them with a the car, they don't actually... The, the, car, the, the car is wrecked, basically, because they're armour-plated. Wombats are armour-plated, um, where, whereas, um, whereas male bats, um, they, they aren't. They aren't armour-plated. They can fly around and stuff, um, but you know it's it's quite it's it's somewhat different from other species of bat, like the cricket bat, of course, which um, which which um, will it's not armor plated, it's just wooden all the way through, and uh, uh, baseball bats, um, which is you know, um, which are self-explanatory. I mean, I mean, you know, you you just um, go from one base to another, and um, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. Um, you, you've also got your numbats, of course. Um, you've got to treat the numbats very gently, very kindly, because yes, they might be. If you hurt them, they won't feel it, but it will still hurt them. So. Um, in short, I have no idea what the question was anymore. Is if asked, would you answer this question in a confusing and or informative manner? Well, I don't know whether I can or not because um, the problem is I don't know what the uh, question was because I can't remember the question. Well, I do remember the question, but I can't quite... I, I don't have a handle on what the answer will be. That's the problem here. The question isn't the problem. It's the answer that's puzzling me. And I... <laughs> I, I'm trying to make this answer on the run, as it were, like trying to um, put uh, put put the railway tracks in just before the um, grommet gets to the gets to the thing. I like on that old animated um, um, show um, on on the television that I once watched sometimes. Um, so in short, I don't know that either. I'm really not being very informative or um, cooperative in this one. Um, let's try another question, this time from Jonathan Stern. How many people die a year from by remaining parked after the time allotted to them on their parking meter expires? Well, I assume uh, everybody. Well, everybody dies, and uh, and in that as the, as a subset of that would be those who um, sit in their car after the meter expires. So, one hundred percent of the people who um who uh, go who sit in a car after the meter expires will die eventually not necessarily as a cause of them sitting in a car after the meter expires but sort of um, as an ultimate uh, result of that uh, particular experiment um, you know, just one thing leading on to another, leading on to another, and leading on to another. Unless, of course, they were doing something like um, smoking or, uh, or um, you know, or having a plane crash on them or something. In the car. Smoking in the car or having a plane crash on them in the car. Um, next question is from Ken Lee. If chickens had lips, would they blow up balloons? Well, no. No, because chickens are not interested in, in balloons. They're interested in things like wheat and um, other chickens and um, what else do they like eating apart from wheat and other chickens? Like little worms and th stuff and um, ankles. Those are the things that chickens eat. And... Um, they don't like eating, you know, blowing up balloons because, you know, um, they're chickens and they have more sense than that because balloons are made of rubber and, you know, um, you know, with the rubber chicken thing, it's a bit racist these days. That's all I'm saying.
It's a bit racist. It's a bit racist. Kenley asks, uh, hidden in plain sight, Oster aliens revealed. Stop living in shame, extend your antenna, show your gecko feet, and allow you, you to cling to the bottom of our ball. Uh, <laughs> admit that the didgeridoo music is upside down, Mozart. <laughs> admit that your volcanoes suck and your fart bubbles under the sea. <laughs> Uh, in the Bay of Aquatic Kangaroos over northwest up ish. Um, just come clean. <laughs> it will make you feel better. Okay, um, you, you promised that I'd feel better, so um, all of that, all of that stuff, even the stuff that doesn't make any sense at all, it's all true. I don't feel better. I feel kind of worse. You lied. You lied. You lied. Last question for the day is from Fritz. Is this really Goodbye Goebbels? Well, I had to look up Goodbye Goebbels for myself, and it goes something like this. Right now, now that forever has taken its bed shot and the whole world is raging. The music of Munich fades into the ashes. I think we're alone now. Goodbye, Goebbels. Sometimes there's no solving problems and pain, so no one will refrain uh, before your, our names are buried in shame. Chew up the old world and spit out the new. Here's to the fourth Reich. I bid you adieu. Uh, silence is easy, the walls they are shaking, your courage is sacred, and uh, you lit up my conscious. I think we're alone now, we're nearly. And that is Goodbye Goebbels, apparently, from um, Fat White Family. Um, I didn't do it justice because there is no justice. That's it for Tell Someone for this week. If you would like to ask a question, then ask me a question in the place where the questions normally get asked. The uh, dovetail question, of course, is over my left shoulder because my right shoulder, um, next to my right shoulder is the outside and it's raining out there and it's cold and wet and you don't want a wet dovetail question. However, there is this brand new dry um, dovetail question which is relatively easy to read and well lit because there's a light in the car. Um, I'm dangerously talented and I don't have a cool sign of it.